Hiya besties. So I have recently been feeling quite fatigued with my budget and it's not necessarily about the day in day out thing because it's kind of second nature to only spend my cash and that sort of stuff. That bit is not what I'm struggling with. What I am struggling with is believing that I can achieve my goals. Now, if you remember, we set up my goals like maybe two and a half months ago. So the fact that I'm already in a place that I'm like, oh, it's never gonna happen is just a bit daft. But what I wanna do in today's video is kind of look at everything that I've achieved so far because I think I've probably, either achieved more than I think I have, or this filming of this video will serve as the kick up the bum that I needed to sort of really, really get focused on my goals. Because I've sort of just been plodding along, saving, stuffing, doing all of that stuff without really paying attention to what I've actually done. So I think this video is gonna be good for me. I think a really good thing to do is to look at what you've done. So if you are struggling with a sinking fund and feeling like it's never gonna happen, just count up what you've got. You will almost always surprise yourself. So in today's video, I'm gonna be looking at my holiday fund for the holiday that I wanna have in Christmas with Jay, my emergency fund, and then my massive 20K savings goal that I'm trying to do. So let's go take a look at those. Let's get into this booklet and let's get it done, bestie. Okay, here we are with this. And this is what I set out with you a while ago, actually. And these are my short-term financial goals. And because I've been feeling quite fatigued with them, I wanted to sort of see where I'm at with them. And I'm not expecting massive progress because it has been, what, two and a half months? not even that maybe since I started these goals. So what I want to do is sort of see where I'm at and see if I need to adjust any of my plans. So let's quickly go over what we had. So first of all was a holiday we take for Christmas by 2023. And in order to do that, what I wanted to do was to save £580 from the wildcard challenge and then save 351 with the 26 envelope challenge. And then what I would have would be £641 and Jake would have 290 so that we'd sort of be ready to sort of have a Christmas holiday. So I'll count both of those challenges to stay and just to see where we're at with them. And then the emergency fund, I want it to be by 6K by December, 2023. So I wanted to be putting away at least 227 pounds a month. And now I know I didn't do that last month. I think I did 150 just because money was so tight. So I think I am gonna have to sort of up it, but I think in April's budget, I did budget 350 pounds, but let's see what my income comes with that and then for the 20k which is the big one um i want to do 5k from the 100 envelope challenge i feel like i'm on track with that not sure four no 4k from the mega dice challenge 1k from the 1050 challenge uh, 2k from the 2k challenge 4k from general savings so stuff that i've just chucked into my lysa which would turn into 5k and then 3k from somewhere else which i hadn't worked out at that point. So let's uh, move this over to the side here. What I wanna do is just sort of see where I'm at with my savings challenges. So let's start with the holiday with Jake and let's count wildcard and let's count the 26 and vote challenge. So wildcard is in here and I've just stuffed for the week. So the week that you're uh, you, you're going to see on Wednesday, I've already stuffed for that. So I know I've got four pounds there. So I've got 100, 200, and that's in the bank. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 75. So 279, which is not bad. So 279 in a wild card. And then in the 26 envelope challenge, it is in the front here. So let's count that up. I need a calculator, bestie. So on the wild card, we've done one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 23, 24, and 26. But 118, like that's not too bad. So if we go to here, so we should have 580 in wildcard and then uh, 351 in the 26 envelope challenge. That comes up to 931. In wildcard so far, I've saved up 279 and 118, which is 397. So 397 divided by 931 equals times 100. So I'm 42% there. So I'm basically halfway, which is weird because 
we're only in March. I suppose the 26 envelope challenge is going to go faster than the wild card because the wild card is going to finish November and the 26 is going to end in August. So 42% is not bad. I will take that all day long, bestie. So next I'm looking at my emergency fund and it is where I expect it to be. So it's 3,650 at the moment. So uh, it says here that my goal is 4,500. I need to change that to 6,000, don't I? Okay, so we're 61% of the way there, which is great, but am I on track, besties? So we want to have 6,000 pounds, and so far we've got 3,650, which means we've got 2,350 to go. We have April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So we've got nine months left, which means I need to save 261 pounds. So it has gone under, however, if I go to 2350, and then I minus the 350 that I'm hoping to put in in April, and then I divide that by eight, that means 250 pounds, which is exactly where I was hoping to be. So um, I feel like I'm on track as long as I can make that 350 pound payment in April. So, so far, so good with that one. Next is the big one. So it's the 20K. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of adding up. So let's start with the 100 envelope challenge. Here's how we are getting on with that one. I mean, I'm just gonna have to add it all up and hope that I put the correct amount in. So I think what I'll do is I'll start from 100, work my way back and we'll have a good idea of how much I've got in there. we've got 3,613. That is more than I thought. So it's going to be 5,050. So I've got 1,400 pounds left to go, which I think is nine months left in the year. Okay. It's a lot of money to put away a, a month, um, but I've got all sorts of bits coming in. So I've got like it comes from a lot of different sources, so I think I can do it. I really do. So okay, I'm 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 feeling okay. I'm feeling positive about that. Okay, so Mega Dice Challenge is I mean, so far I've been able to afford everything that I rolled. Now I've just rolled again for the fourth week of this month, and there's not much money left in the sort of pot for it. But what I want to do is quickly go through all of these envelopes, add it all up, see where I'm at. So in the save 130, I've got 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Okay, 31. And then in here, uh, I've got 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Okay, in here, I've got 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 64. I mean, it all seems like so far so good, I guess. Um, the money's getting higher in each envelope, so I suppose that's the right thing. 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, 6, 7, eight, nine, 81. Okay, next one is, I don't even know what challenge that is. This is the 12. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, six, seven, eight, nine, 79. I mean, I don't know what I'm really expecting for three months in. So I guess I should be like a quarter way there. So maybe a thousand pounds. Is that a bit excessive to expect that? A hundred in the bank, 20, 30, 45, 145, 148. 148, not bad. And then here's the big one. So, um, 
Okay, well, yes, there is. Okay, in fact, there is a lot of money in this one. Okay, no need to worry as much. <laughs> right, okay, so in the bank, we've got 600. Let me just sort this. Uh, two, four, six, eight, 700. Two, four, six, eight, 90, 810. Okay, that was a, a lot more than I was expecting, which I'm glad about. So I guess by the end of March, I should be, uh, we're a quarter into the year. So I should be a quarter way through this. So I should have a thousand pounds in here. In there so far, I've got 1,252. So I'm over a quarter of the way in. And I think that's because I've rolled relatively high numbers already. So. Um, a, a, you know, a fair way to go, but 1252, not bad at all. Okay, so according to this, I should also have a thousand pounds from the uh, 10 at 50 challenge. Um, I know I've got a lot in there, um, but let's have a look. So, five, six, seven hundred pounds in the bank, 20, 30, 40, 5, 46. So, 746. Uh, which makes sense because I have been doing this challenge for a very, very long time. So really close to finishing that one. And with the extra help that I've got from the uh, petrol savings being done, um, I can get it done quicker. So anyway, 2K from the 2K challenge. And this one gets neglected <laughs> like a lot. Um, I really need to up my game on this one. So 500, 750, 850. Oh, not as bad, 850. Um, plus 80, which is 930. So I'm halfway there nearly. That, okay. So I've got to do another grand in there by the end of the year and I've got nine months to do it, which is what, 90 quid a month? I think I could do that. I think I could do that with patrons help, for sure. So 930 in here. Okay, so it doesn't show me any data here, which is good. So uh, I've got two weeks left to finish the lighter for this year. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to do that, um, but uh, I've got one, two, five, three, forty-eight for this year, and then I'll start again with a new one. So one, two, five, three, forty-eight. Um, that's like that's that's a quarter. That that literally is a quarter, isn't it? Not bad. I'm pleased. Okay, and then the last bit is 3K from somewhere else. And that was going to be from ads and things that I do. I have been paid from one of the adverts that I have done, but I've only been paid from HelloFresh. And I can't declare with you how much money I made from that. Um, I just, like, it's part of the contract. So I can't share with you how much. But once I get more ads, I'll be able to tell you the total amount. But if I told you the total amount today, you'd know exactly how much I got paid from HelloFresh, which I just, I wish I could share it with you because I like to be, like, sharing that stuff with you. But I just can't share with you. So I'm going to add up everything except for HelloFresh. And let's get going. I've got 7,794.48. That makes me want to cry a little bit. 7,794.48. If I get 7,794.48 and divide it by 20,000, gives me that. And then times by 100, we are 38.97% towards our goals, which is, I mean, we are supposed to be 25% at the end of March and it's halfway through March and we are 39% there. So while it, let me be really honest with you, the fact that I've got 930 pounds in my 2K challenge and I don't really have a plan for it is, like is worrying but at the same time I'm 38% done so it's only going to get easier so if I get 20,000 pounds and then minus off the 779448 that I've already done that means I've got 12,000 pounds left to go and then if I divide it by that by nine I mean, that does say I need to put away £1,356 each month, which um, that's going to be challenging. I mean, this is the first bit of realisation. I might not be able to make this 
goal happen. But honestly, if I get 80% of the way there, like that's gonna be just so inconceivable for me. So yeah, I am feeling positive. Like I really am. And I know that when I said I'm, I'm gonna try and save up 20,000 pounds, I know that was gonna be a big ask, but the fact that I'm 39% of the way there, I'm just so happy. So thank you so much for being part of this journey, besties. Hi guys, guys, I'm Mike. Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are gonna comment, please use this emoji. Before we go anywhere, we do need to do the giveaway draw from the previous video. So if you remember, I'm giving away this huge bunch of stuff. It's got two binders in there, loads of cash envelopes. It's got so much in there. So definitely, definitely stay tuned if you entered. Hi besties. So we're about to, to do the exciting bit, which is getting the winner from the previous video. So there was a lot to win. So let's go and do that. We are on randomcommentpicker.com and we are on the YouTube video and we have highlighted the text of the stars. So we've got 152 comments that had that in it. So let's literally go ahead and do it and let's see who won. So let's go ahead. I am excited. I hope it's not American because it's going to cost me a lot to post it, but at the same time, I don't mind who it is. Who is it? Who is it? Jade Kerry. Well done. Jade said, love this video. I love seeing all the budget and community supporting cover each other. Fab idea, Ira. Oh, thank you so much. I would like you to go ahead and message me on Etsy. I just need to know a little bit more about you to make sure that you are who you say you are. And then I will ship it out to you. If Jade doesn't reply within seven days, then I will run this again. Well done, Jade. Massive congratulations to the winner and thank you for participating. Thank you to everybody who commented on that video and thank you for just being here and commented. Um, you know, if you didn't win, there will always be giveaways, Bestie. And thank you so much for participating in that. An extra special thank you to the patrons who, chef's kiss, love ya, love you being around and thank you for just making my life what it is. And I truly mean that, you are making my life different. So thank you so much for supporting me, even if you're only supporting a pound, because that pound, trust me, Bessie, it does go far. That is all I have for today's video. So yeah, hope to see you for Wednesday's check-in. And also we got a live on Tuesday, so hope to see you soon. Until then, I would like you to have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, and have a wonderful budget. Always remember, don't trust Ira. And Bessie, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.